Brought to you by Wikivide Documentaries. Wiki. A wiki is a website on which users collaboratively modify content and structure directly from the web browser. In a typical wiki, text is written using a simplified markup language and often edited with the help of a rich text editor. A wiki is run using wiki software, otherwise known as a wiki engine. A wiki engine is a type of content management system, but it differs from most other such systems, including blog software, in that the content is created without any defined owner or leader, and wikis have little implicit structure, allowing structure to emerge according to the needs of the users. There are dozens of different wiki engines in use, both standalone and part of other software, such as bug tracking systems. Some wiki engines are open source, whereas others are proprietary. Some permit control over different functions. For example, editing rights may permit changing, adding or removing material. Others may permit access without enforcing access control. Other rules may be imposed to organize content. The online encyclopedia project Wikipedia is by far the most popular wiki-based website, and is one of the most widely viewed sites of any kind in the world, having been ranked in the top 10 since 2007. Wikipedia is not a single wiki, but rather a collection of hundreds of wikis, one for each language. There are tens of thousands of other wikis in use, both public and private, including wikis functioning as knowledge management resources, note-taking tools, community websites and intranets. The English language Wikipedia has the largest collection of articles. As of September 2016, it had over 5 million articles. Ward Cunningham the developer of the first wiki software, WikiWikiWeb, originally described it as, the simplest online database that could possibly work. Wiki, is a Hawaiian word meaning, quick. Characteristics Ward Cunningham and co-author Bo Luth, in their book The Wiki Way, Quick Collaboration on the Web, describe the essence of the wiki concept as follows. A wiki enables communities of editors and contributors to write documents collaboratively. All that people require to contribute is a computer, internet access, a web browser and a basic understanding of a simple markup language. A single page in a wiki website is referred to as a wiki page, while the entire collection of pages, which are usually well interconnected by hyperlinks, is a wiki. A wiki is essentially a database for creating, browsing, and searching through information. A wiki allows non-linear, evolving, complex and networked text, while also allowing for edit or argument, debate and interaction regarding the content and formatting. A defining characteristic of wiki technology is the ease with which pages can be created and updated. Generally, there is no review by a moderator or gatekeeper before modifications are accepted and thus lead to changes on the website. Many wikis are open to alteration by the general public without requiring registration of user accounts. Many edits can be made in real time and appear almost instantly online. However, this feature facilitates abuse of the system. Private wiki servers require user authentication to edit pages, and sometimes even to read them. Magad and Kamal Bulos, Seetam Ramba and Steve Wheeler write that the open wikis produce a process of social Darwinism. Unfit sentences and sections are ruthlessly culled, edited and replaced if they are not considered fit, which hopefully results in the evolution of a higher quality and more relevant page. While such openness may invite vandalism and the posting of untrue information, this same openness also makes it possible to rapidly correct or restore a quality wiki page. Editing Some wikis have an edit button or link directly on the page being viewed, if the user has permission to edit the page. This can lead to a text-based editing page where participants can structure and format wiki pages with a simplified markup language, sometimes known as wiki text, wiki markup or wiki code. For example, starting lines of text with asterisks could create a bulleted list. The style and syntax of wiki texts can vary greatly among wiki implementations, some of which also allow HTML tags. Wikis have favored plain text editing, with fewer and simpler conventions than HTML, for indicating style and structure. Although limiting access to HTML and cascading style sheets of wikis limits user ability to alter the structure and formatting of wiki content, there are some benefits. Limited access to CSS promotes consistency in the look and feel, 
and having JavaScript disabled prevents a user from implementing code that may limit other users' access. Wikis can also make WYSIWYG editing available to users, usually by means of JavaScript control that translates graphically entered formatting instructions into the corresponding HTML tags or wiki text. In those implementations, the markup of a newly edited, marked up version of the page is generated and submitted to the server transparently, shielding the user from this technical detail. An example of this is the visual editor on Wikipedia. However, WYSIWYG controls do not always provide all of the features available in Wikitext, and some users prefer not to use a WYSIWYG editor. Hence, many of these sites offer some means to edit the Wikitext directly. Some wikis keep a record of changes made to wiki pages. Often, every version of the page is stored. This means that authors can revert to an older version of the page should it be necessary. Because a mistake has been made, such as the content accidentally being deleted or the page has been vandalized to include offensive or malicious text or other inappropriate content. Many wiki implementations, such as MediaWiki, allow users to supply an edit summary when they edit a page. This is a short piece of text summarizing the changes they have made. It is not inserted into the article's main text but is stored along with that revision of the page, allowing users to explain what has been done and why, similar to a log message, while making changes in a revision control system. This enables other users to see which changes have been made by whom and why, often in a list of summaries, dates and other short, relevant content, a list which is called a log or history. Navigation Within the text of most pages, there are usually a large number of hypertext links to other pages within the wiki. This form of non-linear navigation is more native to a wiki than structured slash formalized navigation schemes. Users can also create any number of index or table of contents pages with hierarchical categorization or whatever form of organization they like. These may be challenging to maintain by hand as multiple authors and users may create and delete pages in an ad hoc, unorganized manner. Wikis can provide one or more ways to categorize or tag pages to support the maintenance of such index pages. Some wikis, including the original, have a backlink feature, which displays all pages that link to a given page. It is also typically possible in a wiki to create links to pages that do not yet exist, as a way to invite others to share what they know about a subject new to the wiki. Wiki users can typically tag pages with categories or keywords to make it easier for other users to find the article. For example, a user creating a new article on cold weather cycling might tag this page under the categories of commuting, winter sports and bicycling. This would make it easier for other users to find the article. Linking and creating pages. Links are created using a specific syntax, the so-called link pattern. Originally, most wikis use camel case to name pages and create links. These are produced by capitalizing words in a phrase and removing the spaces between them. While camel case makes linking easy, it also leads to links in a form that deviates from the standard spelling. To link to a page with a single word title, one must abnormally capitalize one of the letters in the word. Camel case based wikis are instantly recognizable because they have many links with names such as table of contents, and beginner questions. It is possible for the wiki to render the visible anchor of such links, pretty, by reinserting spaces, and possibly also reverting to lowercase. However, this reprocessing of the link, to improve the readability of the anchor is limited by the loss of capitalization information caused by camel case reversal. For example, Richard Wagner, should be rendered as, Richard Wagner, whereas, popular music, should be rendered as, popular music. There is no easy way, to determine which capital letters should remain capitalized. As a result, many wikis now have, free linking, using brackets, and some disable camel case by default. Searching. Most wikis offer at least a title search, and sometimes a full text search. The scalability of the search depends on whether the wiki engine uses a database. 
Some wikis, such as PMWiki, use flat files. MediaWiki's first versions used flat files, but it was rewritten by Lee Daniel Crocker in the early 2000s to be a database application. Index database access is necessary for high-speed searches on large wikis. Alternatively, external search engines such as Google Search can sometimes be used on wikis with limited searching functions in order to obtain more precise results. History WikiWikiWeb was the first wiki. Ward Cunningham started developing WikiWikiWeb in Portland, Oregon, in 1994, and installed it on the internet domain c2.com on March 25, 1995. It was named by Cunningham, who remembered a Honolulu International Airport counter employee telling him to take the WikiWiki shuttle bus that runs between the airport's terminals. According to Cunningham, I chose WikiWiki as an alliterative substitute for Quick and thereby avoided naming this stuff Quick Web. Cunningham was, in part, inspired by Apple's HyperCard, which he had used. HyperCard, however, was single user. Apple had designed a system allowing users to create virtual card stacks, supporting links among the various cards. Cunningham developed Vanover Bush's ideas by allowing users to comment on and change one another's text. Cunningham says his goals were to link together people's experiences to create a new literature to document programming patterns, and to harness people's natural desire to talk and tell stories with a technology that would feel comfortable to those not used to authoring. Wikipedia became the most famous wiki site, entering the top 10 most popular websites in 2007. In the early 2000s, wikis were increasingly adopted in enterprises' collaborative software. Common uses included project communication, intranets, and documentation. Initially for technical users, some companies use wikis as their only collaborative software and as a replacement for static intranets, and some schools and universities use wikis to enhance group learning. There may be greater use of wikis behind firewalls than on the public internet. On March 15, 2007, the word wiki was listed in the online Oxford English Dictionary. Alternative Definitions In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the word wiki was used to refer to both user-editable websites and the software that powers them. The latter definition is still occasionally in use. Wiki inventor Ward Cunningham wrote in 2014 that the word wiki should not be used to refer to a single website but rather to a mass of user-editable pages and or sites, so that a single website is not a wiki, but an instance of wiki. He wrote that the concept of wiki federation, in which the same content can be hosted and edited in more than one location in a manner similar to distributed version control, meant that the concept of a single discrete wiki no longer made sense. Implementations Wiki software is a type of collaborative software that runs a wiki system, allowing web pages to be created and edited using a common web browser. It may be implemented as a series of scripts behind an existing web server, or as a standalone application server that runs on one or more web servers. The content is stored in a file system, and changes to the content are stored in a relational database management system. A commonly implemented software package is MediaWiki, which runs Wikipedia. Alternatively, personal wikis run as a standalone application on a single computer. Wikipad is an example. One application, TiddlyWiki, simply makes use of an even single local HTML file with JavaScript inside. Wikis can also be created on a wiki farm, where the server-side software is implemented by the wiki farm owner. Wiki, social text and wiki are popular examples of such services. Some wiki farms can also make private, password-protected wikis. Note that free wiki farms generally contain advertising on every page. For more information, see Comparison of Wiki Farms. Controlling Changes Wikis are generally designed with the philosophy of making it easy to correct mistakes, rather than making it difficult to make them. Thus, while wikis are very open, they provide a means to verify the validity of recent additions to the body of pages. The most prominent, on almost every wiki, is the recent changes page, a specific list numbering recent edits, or a list of edits made within a given time frame. Some wikis can filter the list to remove minor edits and edits made by automatic importing scripts from the change log. 
Other functions are accessible in most wikis. The revision history shows previous page versions, and the diff feature highlights the changes between two revisions. Using the revision history, an editor can view and restore a previous version of the article. The diff feature can be used to decide whether or not this is necessary. A regular wiki user can view the diff of an edit listed on the recent changes page and, if it is an unacceptable edit, consult the history, restoring a previous revision. This process is more or less streamlined, depending on the wiki software used. In case unacceptable edits are missed on the recent changes page, some wiki engines provide additional content control. It can be monitored to ensure that a page or a set of pages keeps its quality. A person willing to maintain pages will be warned of modifications to the pages, allowing him or her to verify the validity of new additions quickly. A watchlist is a common implementation of this. Some wikis also implement patrolled revisions, in which editors with the requisite credentials can mark some edits as not vandalism. A. Flagged revisions system can prevent edits from going live until they have been reviewed. Trustworthiness and reliability of content Critics of publicly editable wiki systems argue that these systems could be easily tampered with by malicious individuals or even by well-meaning, but unskilled users who introduce errors into the content. While proponents argue that the community of users can catch malicious content and correct it, Laza Ronson, a data systems specialist, summarizes the controversy as follows. Most people, when they first learn about the wiki concept, assume that a website that can be edited by anybody would soon be rendered useless. By destructive input, it sounds like offering free spray cans next to a gray concrete wall. The only likely outcome would be ugly graffiti and simple tagging, and many artistic efforts would not be long-lived. Still, it seems to work very well. High editorial standards in medicine and health sciences articles, in which users typically use peer-reviewed journals or university textbooks as sources, have led to the idea of expert-moderated wikis. Some wikis allow one to link to specific versions of articles, which has been useful to the scientific community, in that expert peer reviewers could analyze articles, improve them and provide links to the trusted version of that article. Novek points out that, Participants are accredited by members of the wiki community, who have a vested interest in preserving the quality of the work product, on the basis of their ongoing participation. On controversial topics that have been subject to disruptive editing, a wiki may restrict editing to registered users. Security The open philosophy of wiki allowing anyone to edit content does not ensure that every editor's intentions are well-mannered. For example, Vandalism can be a major problem. On larger wiki sites, such as those run by the Wikimedia Foundation, vandalism can go unnoticed for some period of time. Wikis, because of their open nature, are susceptible to intentional disruption, known as trolling. Wikis tend to take a soft security approach to the problem of vandalism, making damage easy to undo rather than attempting to prevent damage. Larger wikis often employ sophisticated methods such as bots that automatically identify and revert vandalism, and JavaScript enhancements that show characters that have been added in each edit. In this way vandalism can be limited to just minor vandalism, or sneaky vandalism, where the characters added slash eliminated are so few that bots do not identify them and users do not pay much attention to them. An example of a bot that reverts vandalism on Wikipedia is Clubotung. Clubot on can revert edits, often within minutes, if not seconds. The bot uses machine learning in lieu of heuristics. The amount of vandalism a wiki receives depends on how open the wiki is. For instance, some wikis allow unregistered users, identified by their IP addresses, to edit content, while others limit this function to just registered users. Most wikis allow anonymous editing without an account, but give registered users additional editing functions. On most wikis, becoming a registered user is a short and simple process. Some wikis require an additional waiting period before gaining access to certain tools. For example, on the English Wikipedia, registered users can rename pages only if their account is at least four days old and has made at least ten edits. Other wikis such as the Portuguese Wikipedia use an editing requirement instead of a time requirement. 
granting extra tools after the user has made a certain number of edits to prove their trustworthiness and usefulness as an editor. Vandalism of Wikipedia is common, because it is extremely open, allowing anyone with a computer and internet access to edit it, although this makes it grow rapidly. In contrast, Citizendium requires an editor's real name and short autobiography, affecting the growth of the wiki, but sometimes helping stop vandalism. Edit wars can also occur as users repetitively revert a page to the version they favor. In some cases, editors with opposing views of which content should appear or what formatting style should be used will change and rechange each other's edits. This results in the page being unstable from a general user's perspective, because each time a general user comes to the page, it may look different. Some wiki software allows an administrator to stop such edit wars by locking a page from further editing until a decision has been made on what version of the page would be most appropriate. Some wikis are in a better position than others to control behavior due to governance structures existing outside the wiki. For instance, a college teacher can create incentives for students to behave themselves on a class wiki they administer by limiting editing to logged in users and pointing out that all contributions can be traced back to the contributors. Bad behavior can then be dealt with in accordance with university policies. The issue of wiki vandalism is debated. In some cases, when an editor deletes an entire article and replaces it with nonsense content, it may be a test edit made by the user as she or he is experimenting with the wiki system. Some editors may not realize that they have damaged the page, or if they do realize it, they may not know how to undo the mistake or restore the content. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?